all right i am being harassed by my pettiest cousin about the speed at which i am making the switch from blackberry to lgg8 all right so here's the progress um i'm pretty much almost all set up to go on this lg and um i still haven't turned it on like i haven't got it connected to the internet uh, to the cell phone yet network but i am certainly pretty much see all my little <laughs> all my i have a ton of uh all my little app which call it whatever they're called icons are here they're almost ready and i'm making it look i don't know if you see that I'm making it look the same i have <laughs> i have um installed several of my blackberry productivity apps on the lg which is super important for me so they're on here um one thing that's different is where those apps were free on the blackberry they're going to cost me on the lg um but for now i probably will pay for them so that i can keep living my life uh blackberry style at least in terms of the productivity apps blackberry style on the lg now am i adjusting i'm getting there i'm getting there um at first my first couple of days working with the lg i was struggling a bit because <clears throat> for one the phone the the um surface of the phone of the lg is curved whereas the surface of blackberry is flat so it's just a little bit of learning to adjust to that um then there's this little thing called an app drawer some of you may know what an app drawer is an app drawer that's where you just like just click the little button here and all your apps come up well that is not that's kind of like that's a standard on a blackberry that wasn't a standard on here i had to like really look for it and then reset up the phone so that it would work with that it, it wasn't just like the way it wasn't like fresh out of the box so i've been doing a lot of customizing and so far it's so good i think i'm gonna be all right i think i'm gonna survive i'm still gonna miss my qwerty keyboard every time i have to type something and i'm using this phone i'm you know i'm struggling with the keyboard and um, as opposed to having a, a live QWERTY keyboard, I struggle with that. And that is what I need the phone for the most. I don't play games. I don't watch movies. I need to be able to communicate. That's very important. And so it's going to be a little bit of a challenge with this not having a keyboard. But I, so far I'm surviving and I think I'm going to be all right. Um, let's see. Today is December the 19th. I have until January 4th to make the full and complete switch. I'm almost ready. I've, you see, I've got the little glove because the other thing with this phone is super slippery. And so I would sit it down and it would just be sliding because it's slippery on the back. Whereas the, um, the um, Blackberry, the natural Blackberry, the back of it is more has more of a grip to it. This almost, I think it was a leather or something. So this phone kept slide. I would sit it down and it just be sliding, slowly sliding. So now that I have the case on it, it doesn't slide and it's easier for me to hold. And um, I've bought a, uh, so it's got a glove on it rather. I bought a case for it like this one. So it'll be ready. So I'm pretty much taking my detox real slow. I'm making my new phone as much like my old phone as possible right down to the type of case it is and like I said the Blackberry apps and I think I'll be good to go in a few days uh, but I'm probably still gonna stick it all the way out to the very very last minute it's probably what I'm gonna do if I don't stick it all the way until January it's only because I'm trying to get a tax write-off in 2021 <laughs> that would be the only thing <laughs> that makes me go ahead and finalize the switch is that I want to spend some money 
um, out of my business account because this is a business phone for me. I want to spend some money um, and I wanted to hit 2021 tax, 2021 tax season. That would be the only reason why I go ahead and make the switch in 2021 as opposed to waiting for the first couple of days in 2022. It's for the tax write-off. The money. That's what it comes down to. The money. So that is it. That's the, that's the status. That's where we're at. Um, and I don't think I have anything else to share about it right now. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching. And thank you for joining me on my journey to untangle myself. Let me tell you, I have been Blackberry since the beginning of time. I never had to choose outside of BlackBerry. I would just hold on to my BlackBerry until a new new one came, a new uh, model came out, and I would gladly switch to a new BlackBerry. But to switch to a completely something outside of BlackBerry, I have not. So, cheers to me. Y'all have a blessed day, blessed rest of the day, blessed holiday season, and I might come back on and say something to you later on before the Christmas season. Who knows? But anyway, have a good day. Bye-bye.